Sections of a vacant furniture factory falling apart this afternoon from the heat of a blaze officials say started at around 7 a.m. Christopher Clonch grew up in Lexington. I mean, it was crazy. I actually, like I said, I drove all the way down from High Point just to see it. Elizabeth Cologne lives in Lexington and says it was a crushing sight. I mean, it's sad because we love our little town. Yeah. This is like, you know, Norman Rockwell type of place, and it's, it's sad to see that happening in our town. Lexington Fire Chief Paul Jarrett says crews started by attacking the main body of fire. And the building has been in a state of disrepair for some time. Uh, it's too unsafe to send firefighters into a building like that. Holes in the floors, floors were loose, structural members, that kind of thing. So they were getting water onto it any way they can. Hours later, the fire still clings to debris inside the building. Chief Jarrett says no firefighters have been hurt so far. These folks have done a tremendous job. I'm very proud of the effort that they've put in and the things that they've done today. Um, they've, they've executed very well. Very proud of them. It's still not known what caused the fire. Fire officials say the fire could take days to put out because it's trapped under pockets of debris. Reporting from Lexington, Phil Sterling, ABC 45 News, standing up for you. All right, you feel pretty good about it?